Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back with another Power League video plus draft and today is the day that I will be getting Masters so you guys get to watch it here with me. I streamed it earlier and you know I've been like obviously I've gone Masters like a bunch of time. This season I was like top like 10 top 15 for like a while and then I don't know what happened. I just tilted like pretty bad. Um, and yeah, I got like, I've been hovering like L3 and like just kind of tilting a bit. But today was the day like, okay, yesterday should have been the day I was like inside the bar. Um, but today, you know, I was like, all right, like it's getting ridiculous at this point. I got to get masters. So we're going to be going over some of those games right now and let's get into it. All right, guys. So game number one, let's talk about the draft while it's going on. <sighs> Yeah, it's open zone. They have first pick. Uh, I have a really good team. Shout out my slime, Zulan and Nathan. Um, but yeah, I know these guys, like, they're going to draft properly, hopefully. Um, <laughs> and everyone knows what to ban. So it's pretty easy. I don't have to suggest stuff, which I love. I don't like suggesting. But yeah, we're going to ban, like, Crow, which is probably, in my opinion, the best first pick here, I'd say. I think it's just, like, really versatile. And, uh, yeah, it counters a lot of comps, and you can play it, like, in a lot of different ways. And it's just really good in, like, every, like, hot zone map and uh, just in general. So, yeah, the other team's going to ban Shelly, which I like. I like banning Shelly if I uh, have a first pick here. I don't think it's worth first picking because it can get countered, but I think it's a good 2-3 or a really good last pick sometimes. Uh, they ban Poco, which, you know, that makes sense as well, too. Poco, like, healing comps here are pretty decent. And they're going to ban Carl, which always pretty good, like, not a bad ban ever really if the other team has last pick almost in my books. So they do go Meg first, so Pam's really good into Meg, you can press the gadget. And uh, if you do get a turret down, it can't really kill you, you have too much sustain I think. They're both kind of like high HP like chip brawlers, but Pam definitely wins out in the long run, especially with the gadget, it is a counter for sure. And uh, yeah, here's something you guys have seen me play here before. Byron, I love going Byron good side. I stole it from East Asia. And uh, yeah, pretty much you go speed gear, you bring the gadget that like uh, the spread shot gadget and it's really hard to lose your lane, honestly. And you can heal mid and you do a ton of damage and the super is really good as well. So I think it's really strong on the good side. Some things that I don't really like playing into would be like uh, higher HP stuff, so Meg is not the best matchup for, but, uh, like, Bonnie can be rough too sometimes, but as long as you play it properly, I think it's fine, you just have to, like, keep track of them. No one to back off, etc. Uh, Zulan hovering the Chester, <laughs> probably doesn't ever need to go that. Uh, they do go Lola, which really good into Pam, good on this map in general, and Jesse, which is kind of like a head scratcher. Um, so yeah, probably don't recommend the Jesse into our comp. It's kind of good into Pam and Zugo's Griff, which I think he, <laughs> he was telling me to focus before the game, like he needs this win really bad. Uh, and then I think he like picked it by accident or something like that. He's like, oh, like I didn't mean to pick it like my bad or something like that. So <laughs> yeah, but I don't think Griff's like the worst on this map. It used to be pretty decent and I think it's like, okay. It has like a lot of sustain and I know that we can still win, Zoo's not going to like throw the game or anything, obviously a very good player, played against him in comp a lot. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go left and uh, just try keeping the Pam alive and like kind of hard winning my lane as well. So yeah, like I said, higher HP stuff that can kind of run you down, you do got to be a little careful. Now I am on the spread shot, not the healing one. Um, if I was on the healing one, I'd definitely pop it right then, but you can see the Meg is doing really good here, and I gotta be careful just to stay alive. I do get my super, so even if we go down, like, some percent, I think that's fine. Uh, I just gotta start, like, hitting some shots, honestly. I've not really hit a ton of shots, and that's kind of why I like this gadget on Byron. Like, if you're missing shots, you can get, like, that nice little confidence boost, you know? Uh, just with kind of, like, the freebie, so not taking any chances on the Meg, and Pam does have the healing turret up, so usually you want to play in the grass, but I don't want to, like, have to regen or stuff, and I know, like, I don't have shield gear or anything, I'm, like, 3k HP, so I am going to use that Pam turret whenever I can, and I'm also going to keep an eye on Nathan, but like I said, like, when the matchup gets to this point, it is pretty tough for the Pam to lose, I think, once you get a turret set up comfortably, and, yeah, I am going to be on the malaise or whatever it's called on Byron, just to stop the regening, I feel like that slows them down a lot like pretty much if you like super any of them they can't really regen for like 
15 seconds past like 4k HP. So it's definitely really good into higher HP brawlers or brawlers that have healing in their kit, like the Meg, who has the gadget, or like it could be like Heal Lola or something like that. You never know. So I think the Lays is pretty, like generally what you want to take on Byron, unless you're just like healing someone the whole time. I don't really like that Byron, but it does work sometimes. I think it's really good for carrying and just like, you know, keeping your teammates healthy and stuff. So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of like the Slave Byron, but yeah, you can bring like the Pierce one if you are just healing the whole time. It does work pretty well sometimes. I just don't like playing it, honestly. All right guys, game number two. So pretty convincing win in that first one. Like I said, it's hot zone. So if you do go down at the start, like it doesn't really matter. Like maps like this are just all about control. So this game, I'm keeping my distance a lot better. And I'm going to get him out of the mech form pretty early without taking too much damage. It's going to be a much better start for myself. And uh, yeah, my teammates are doing really good. That's definitely a hard lane for Zulan over there. And uh, he's just doing his best to stay alive. I'm trying to call him over for the heal. Usually I don't use my super to heal like a person. If I can heal myself or like even two teammates, great. Uh, Zoo just didn't get the memo, <laughs> but that's okay. We're all, we're doing really good. We're up like 30, 40% at this point. So it didn't really matter. No harm done. We took out the Lola and he gets back into lane safely. And uh, yeah, Nathan's going to do a really good job getting that aggro turret up. You do have to be careful that the Jesse bounces and I'm going to see if I can keep Nathan up. But I think at this point I realize he's dead. So you know, save your ammo if you can't save someone on Byron, obviously, and uh, it's much better used for, like, getting a kill or something like that. And we don't need to rush anything. We're in a really good spot right now. Unfortunately, my KD does get ruined a little bit. Uh, that Jesse bounce. It's pretty annoying. So I see he's dead again. Like, there's no point trying to heal him. I'm just going to take out this Jesse turret. Not, like, we don't need to rush anything. We're still, like, sitting pretty comfortably. And, uh, yeah, we are going to be able to push up. Nice kill from Zula in there. That's going to make it a 3v2. So now is definitely the time to uh, apply some pressure. And the Jesse's doing a good job juking my shots. I'm kind of breaking a little bit of both. Uh, but, yeah, I'm lucky, like, it didn't try running me down or anything like that. And I do manage to just get my super and get, like, a free shot. Just, like, always auto aim with Byron supers. I'm just spinning that zoo. He's my boy, you know, like... Nathan's my boy too, so uh, yeah, we're having a good time, and it's always nice when you get, they're just ruining my KD at this point, terrible, but uh, yeah, it's nice when you get like those kind of freebie games, you know, like, it doesn't really matter too much about, I think we have comp here though, definitely, um, but yeah, draft doesn't matter too much when you have, it does matter always, but less when you have like a good team, but they're actually like kind of coming back here, I do manage to take out the Meg, and uh, yeah, I think we were getting a little silly towards the end, but we're going to secure the win and start off pretty good. All right, guys, so game number two. Technically, there was a game in between this that I did lose. Uh, it was pretty, like, unplayable, kind of, like, high ping, bad draft. So I don't really want to cover that just for, like, the sake of uh, the video time. But, yeah, we're going to be on pinhole, and this is a master's lobby. Zoo's, I think he's, like, around top ten. But, uh, yeah, so I got Zoo again, and we got Soy Breza, who's a good EU player. He actually knocked me out of Worlds, like three years ago or something like that so <laughs> yeah but i like him he's a good guy um and we're gonna ban Stu, carl and sam like the carl like makes sense last pick sam you don't want to get ran down understand Stu, like maybe it's a eu thing i don't know uh but you don't you don't always have to ban for like last pick right so uh they're gonna ban crow cordelius and shelly this is an issue that i kind of find like having uh, 2-3 on some of these maps because I think there's four really broken brawlers in uh, some brawl ball maps right now, Pinhole being one specifically. Um, Squeak, Crow, Cordelius, and Shelly, and you only get three bans. So it's kind of like you got to pick your poison. You know, teams don't really mind giving it over a Squeak sometimes because you can run it down. Um, Crow is just so good and it counters like so many brawlers. So I think Squeak kind of makes the most sense to give up in like some of these maps. But yeah, they're gonna go B and Penny, which is just like, like why? Like, we, we first pick Squeak, yeah, you shouldn't go Brawlers that like it gets countered by. Uh, Zulan is telling me in my chat that we're going M's and Poco. Um, yeah, like looking back, like they already have B, but I guess there's not really like, I think it's, we were worried about it being EU or something like that, and they could like go Mortis last pick. So I'm like, all right, like, uh, if we're worried about that, then, like, we got the Poco, like, just let me go Macy or something. Um, and, yeah, we end up going Macy. And, uh, I forget what they last picked. I think they, oh, okay, it's Tyrant Star, Zeland's teammate. Um, and he takes M's here. Which, uh, yeah, I think it's fine. It's really good into Poco, obviously. 
I think they could have like maybe focused more like had something for the squeak because right now there's just like three like free matchups for squeak which I think is really bad uh, just given how like strong squeak can be um, especially right now I think it's like super meta and like you definitely need to draft for it Zeus <laughs> he was doing something else again he's not focusing too much in the draft he's just refusing to trade with me for a while but uh yeah, luckily I do end up on the Macy. I always, Macy is like probably one of my favorite brothers right now. I think I'm pretty good at it too. So uh, I always try to get in the Macy if I can. The Macy, the Mandy, uh, the Nani, you know, those are kind of like my like good ones right now, I'd say. But uh, yeah, we're going to try getting mid control. We just got to be careful of like the B not taking anyone out. But you can just see like they get pinched so easily with the squeak. Definitely terrible drafting by them. And Zoo's going to be on Decapo. I think that's really good. Uh, just helps us get mid control and I think mid control is everything on maps like these So yeah, we're just like slowly pinching them out and I'm gonna dash away I'm trying to stay alive and yeah, I'm gonna get my super so Yeah, pretty good start. <laughs> I Definitely like our comp better just primarily because of the squeak. I took the Macy It is a really good carry brawler in brawl and uh, brawl ball specifically, but uh the squeak it just like is able to run over the comp so easily so I kind of see like two people grouping up and I'm going to go in. I get them all one shot besides the M's, but my teammates are going to do a good job. And even if you go down, like it's worth it. Like we just win the game off that play. Obviously my teammates did a good job cleaning up as well, but you know, it's not always about KD. Sometimes you got to sacrifice it a little bit just to get the game over with and uh, yeah, get it going to the next one. So pretty much same thing here. I think we do have comp by a good amount. So yeah, I'm gonna go down the lane. As long as the M's or like the Penny doesn't splash on us, like I think it's kind of our game to lose. So just trying not to feed too, too much the squeak. It can just like kind of 1v3 the game. Just <laughs> walks up the lane and just, I don't even know if I do anything. <laughs> I try getting my super, uh, then it can like look like I did something. But yeah, my the squeak literally just walked in a straight line, like shot and they just drafted so bad into it. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hopefully you guys can learn like what not to do from stuff like this. If uh, they do take like one of the very good brawlers, like the super meta brawlers, like let's say Shelly, Cordelia, Squeak, like something like that, uh, one of the carry brawlers, I try getting fancy here. And uh, unfortunately my trick shot doesn't go off, but yeah. Uh, make sure you guys always counter it in one of your first, like your two, three picks if they take one of the super meta brawlers. Because otherwise I think the draft is very hard. They can take the counters for it, for example. Or like, it just like, I don't know, you get put in a really awkward spot like with the last pick M's where there's just like too much for him to worry about because they wanted to ego pick like the B, I guess, and uh, the Penny. So yeah, you're gonna see another like good little super from me and uh, my teammates obviously played really well as well. And pretty much that was a freebie, <laughs> so yeah. Alright guys, so we're going to be on Dueling Beatles this time, and they do have last pick, and Zulan is on the other team, so it's me, Chepo, uh, who's a really good player, and Anders against Zulan and two European guys. So I think it is going to be my server, and we're going to be on Crow, Stu, Shelly. Um, on this map, I usually really like banning the Sprout. Because I think it can just like 1v3 a game really easily. Um, and I think, I don't know, he goes Mr. P with Cordelia's open. I definitely take Cordelia's just because it does kind of like mitigate that threat of the last pick thrower. And yeah, you're probably not going to have good like matchups, but I think it's like just that broken. And this is one of its decent maps, I think, that. Uh, you can kind of just pick it here and just like deal with some of the bad matchups. They'll have to focus on you a lot if they want to win the game and your teammates can get like good matchups. But it, it's just like such a good brawler that I think you just take it. So <laughs> they get like two Jesse pick. I, I don't like it this early. Um, I guess it's like he's thinking like it's good to penguins and stuff like that. It's like mid control and we got like a Cordelius. And uh, yeah, Chepo is going to go Bonnie, I think, which I don't really mind. Oh, no, he goes Penny. Uh... So the issue with that, I think the Mr. P first and the Penny, I have to go something that like can deal with a thrower and can like, we won't get ran down because they get a free last pick Sam right now. Penny and Mr. P do no damage. So I'm like, all right, like 
You know, I just had a warm-up game on Macy. I can kind of dash and, like, be aggro, like, in their spawn. I can deal with tanks because I am super worried about Zulan going, like, Sam last pick because 100% he would do that. He knows how to play Sam. But <laughs> it's, like, kind of like pick your poison. Like, either they go thrower or they go, like, a last pick tank. And I went Macy, so thrower makes more sense in this uh, situation. And, yeah, Sprout can just, like, if we get, like, spawn trapped, it's kind of over for us, I think. So, yeah, we're gonna have to be careful, and I'm gonna try, like, just winning my lane and being really aggro at the start and getting in their spawn, because obviously, like, Sprout, it's really easy to hit your shots max range, but if someone can get up in your face, it's a lot harder. And I'm landing Cordelia, so I think Macy's fine, like, in, like, an open lane like this, you got range. It's kind of, like, your lane to lose. And yeah, I'm gonna just gadget up there and take him out early, and I'll get my super back as well, so pretty good start for us, and I want to be like really annoying in the grass and just kind of like, uh, I don't have to always dash forward when I do super. I feel like a lot of people make that mistake on Macy, they always try going for like a flashy play, when yeah, you can do flashy plays, but you don't need to every time. Sometimes, I've seen a lot of people like throw games just by always trying to do like the dash and the gadget, or sorry, the... the <laughs> The dash gadget and the super right after so i think macy gets it super so easily that you really don't need to do it every time i only do it if someone's like out of range or if i can get two people and uh yeah i know the super range pretty well at this point so just like off of the pressure that i kind of got at the start i think it made the game really easy for my teammates chepo got a uh, penny mortar and uh yeah we got mr p porters too they did get taken out there but uh yeah, you know, definitely don't want to put your Mr. P porters there. I'm just going to dash forward on Zoo, and uh, I don't think he's very happy with his teammates. Um, but yeah, I think I definitely like needed to be aggro at the start there and just kind of get my team out to like a bit of a lead because if we get spawn trapped with this conflict, like, we are not getting out. So definitely something to keep in mind in like certain aspects. You got to like risk like losing at the start or, uh, you know, it's kind of like risk first reward so yeah you definitely need to play aggro into comps that will spawn trap you or like outscale stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna do the same thing again but zoo's smart so he comes on my lane and it doesn't work as well i could definitely play it a lot better i think i just like i don't know i try to like sometimes i get carried away like it's power league right like i don't know if i would do this in like a real game i almost get the kill um but yeah i'm gonna just miss like two shots there unfortunately i definitely could have got that kill I just like uh, messed up my aiming a bit and uh, yeah he's gonna mess up his sprout wall so luckily he can't gadget me in right now so I kind of see that as an opportunity and Cordelius does take me to the shadow realm but this guy is not doing a very good job on the Cordelius as of right now and <laughs> he is on high ping to be fair to him so yeah Cordelius isn't super fun on high ping but yeah you gotta do a little bit of a better job uh, hopefully if you are on the Cordelius here and the game is pretty even so my teammates have been doing really good and yeah same thing as last game I really want to make my way in this grass and just kind of stay alive I'm not sure if I have speed gear on but if I do it's like just solely to get into that grass and uh, yeah I'm just gonna dash away there <clears throat> and uh, just create some space between me and Cordelius and uh, I'm able to like dash towards the sprout as well just get up in his face, it's really hard for him to deal with me when I do that. And uh, yeah, I'm able to chain supers there and just like pick some kills up. And uh, yeah, our comp is very annoying if you get set up like this. Just because we have Mr. P uh, penguins, we have the penny turret, and uh, I'm just trying to be as annoying as possible up in their spawn. Macy's pretty mobile, it has good range. So it definitely is one of my favorite brawlers right now. And yeah, pretty good game. Sorry Zoo. Uh, Better look next time with the Power League randoms, I guess. Yeah, he didn't, not much you can do there. Unlucky for him. All right guys, so this is my game for Masters and I thought it was Ring of Fire until I like got into the map. Um, luckily the drafts are like kind of similar, but I go something like pretty like random here that I do not suggest you guys go. Um, but I, I don't know, I was just like, I wanted to hit Masters in style, I guess. I was pretty like confident, I was like, going pretty crazy today to be honest i had like good win streak and stuff like that uh so we are gonna man shelly um meg and cordelius we do give over the curl which kind of sucks i think it's really good on this map um definitely better than i think on ring of fire it's really broken too but i think this map is definitely its best like hot zone one 
But I think we get a pretty good 2-3 off into it. So Lola is just really strong here. They're probably going to go like something like long range. Just to deal with the Lola. And then Squeak, of course, just really good everywhere. The Gadget, so broken. And uh, yeah, just a really strong brawler right now. <coughs> so every time people see Lola, they always want to go Bell into it. I think it's good, but like it's not like unwinnable for the Lola. Like the idea is just like to bounce between the clone and stuff. Besides that, I don't think it's like the worst matchup ever. So the Lola definitely can get like a lot of zone time in modes like hot zone. And uh, I go Mandy. I've been practicing on Ring of Fire with it a bit, just like kind of messing around. But I was like feeling myself, so I want to go like good side. Mandy. Okay, on Ring of Fire, I try getting in the grass too. That's why I bring Speed Gear because I think if I can get position with Mandy, it just does a ton of damage. Um, but I was like, oh wait, this isn't Ring of Fire. Uh, this is Open Zone. And I'm like, alright, like whatever, like I'll just go left side, like figure it out. And yeah, I'm, I'm going left side. It kind of works out because like they do have like two pretty squishy rollers that I can just like two shot like that. And I'm going to dodge the B gadget. And, uh, yeah, Crow is, like, a little harder for me to hit, but, you know, I do outrange him by a good amount, so I'm not too worried, and I've been practicing with Mandy a lot lately, so even when it's, like, kind of the slower shot speed, I think I can hit, hit it pretty, like, consistently. Not there, I didn't do the best job, but you'll see later on, I think I do a pretty decent job. Uh, <laughs> you guys are going to be kind of disappointed in my Mandy supers, though. Usually I think I'm pretty good with them, but this game I was like bricking on them, so I don't know. I think I was just rushing them, like it's kind of like too obvious. I do just kind of like, I don't know, I don't aim it correctly there. But we're only down by like 10% right now. I know if I get like a kill or two, like it's going to be gone. I don't know why he waited till he was one shot to jump into me, that was pretty weird. But I'm going to clean up the B kill as well there. And uh, yeah, unfortunately both my teammates are going to hit that trap there, but somehow the bell definitely needs to kill them there. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, like, try keeping the B just, like, not in the game because it doesn't have shield gear. I am gonna miss my, like, super again. Like I said, like, very disappointing with the supers. I did wait for the B to shoot there, uh, just because I wasn't sure if I would kill her if she had her 3k on. So, yeah, definitely, um, something to keep in mind against B using that star power. You always want to, like, shoot after she shoots her shot sometimes, depending on the brawler. And I'm gonna get a nice little slow off on the crow, and you can kind of see like I'm not playing Mandy really. I'm playing it like mid. I'm not playing it with like the uh, sit back and just kind of shoot. Like I'm trying to be mobile on it when I can and just kind of like mess around a little bit. And yeah, here uh, we're in a pretty good spot, and I just do it like a little early. There's definitely a way where I can kill him there. I think. I was trying to time the shield perfectly and just like sidestep one of the shots. It is a little hard, Mandy does have some delay on her shot, but if I can get her to like shoot early, I think I could do it. And uh, yeah, I almost get it off, but you know, always room for improvement with everything. And yeah, gonna be one shot here, we're up by like 15% here, so important that I stay alive. And I am gonna get the kill on the B, and I do have my super, so here would be a good time to hit one of my supers for the first time this game, it's pretty embarrassing. Uh, and yeah, it is like almost all tied up here. So I'm going to be sneaky. This is why I like speed gear here. And I'll take out the B and yeah, the crow's going to jump in as well. I'm just going to rush mid at this point and nice kill from uh, my Lola there as well. Just got to stay alive, dodge a little bit and yeah, we're going to take game number one. All right, so same strat. I love going like snipers or long range brawlers left side. My squeak is AFK. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Not really, but I think we can make it work, hopefully. I do get like a pretty nice little angle here, and I'm able to just kind of like keep my distance from the bee, and yeah, I'm gonna wait for it to shoot, and then I'll two tap it. And I know the bell is gonna try peeking me as well, so we're gonna take them both out there, and uh, I feel like they give up here. They're, I think they're tilted in the last game, and yeah, you can see like the bell shooting him, and I'm gonna, yo, one for one on supers in the second game though. I think that super was kind of the nail in the coffin for all of them. The bell was already mad. So yeah, they were just kind of like in a KD farm here a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, that was my game for Masters. And yeah, unfortunately, like, you know, you don't want to get it like this. But they tried the first game. They just thought like it was going to be unwinnable the second game. So 
We're just like kind of celebrating. <laughs> and I lost my mind, my boy, right there. Um, and yeah, like you know, it feels kind of good. I was like a little hard stuck this season, not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm masters, and I will be going for like rank one at some point. So 13 to three, pretty decent. Don't try the Mandy there, guys. Your teammates are gonna get mad at you and blame me for it. So <laughs> I was just feeling a little silly. Um, and yeah, that is going to be it. So you can see, got the Masters. And yeah, like I said, I'll probably try going for rank one. I don't want to like take it super sweaty. Like I want to enjoy myself this season. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll have more Power League content and just other content in general coming for you guys soon. Peace.